The testing is all finished from the Catalunya circuit as the second round of the Modal FIM Superbike World Championship awaits. The Barcelona track presents totally different conditions compared to Phillip Island. Zero grip, lots of sliding and a setup that needs to be slightly readjusted. It took some time to find the right feeling in the first few outings. On day one, Andrea focused more on the SCX tire, without looking for the maximum performance, but rather analyzing rear drop. In the race, excellent management will be essential to get a significant result. The Maniac was on his fourth different track and once again, fast and inside the top four. The goal is always similar, I'm a rookie here and it's just the beginning. Every day I learn something, tires, setup, electronics, every test and every day is much better for me, because I started very far. Everyone here have been riding non-stop for 20 years, I stopped 4 years, and it's not easy to recover. But I'm happy. We have a good potential, but the race is always the race. Generally, in the test I struggle more than in the race, but we will see. It was a good day of testing, I'm satisfied with the teamwork and I think that little by little my feeling with the bike and the tires is improving, making me more and more competitive. In the first few days I struggle slightly more, due to the long stop, but then I am back to interesting levels quite quickly, surprising myself with our results. I'm happy with how we worked with the team and the support from Ducati. I thank Gigi Dalina, Claudio Domenicali, Paolo Ciabatti, Mauro Grassilli and the whole GO11 team for support. This week we hope to recover well and to find similar conditions during the race weekend. Meanwhile, his compatriot Danilo Petrucci also was one of the standout names on day two of the supported test as he finished in third place, after running in top spot during the afternoon before being demoted by Nicolo Bulega and Toprak Razgatliolu. However, his day wasn't simple at all, with two technical issues and a crash hampering his progress but he was still able to show impressive speed to be towards the front at a track he hasn't enjoyed strong results at in the past. Discussing his issues and crash, he said, the first part was not busy, because I pushed the bike out of the gravel a couple of times. We had a problem with this morning, a bit of rain and we waited a bit, and then we had this issue with the number one bike. We had to start the day quite late but then we've been able to recover so well. I was worried about my lap time with the SCX and the SCQ. I could have been better but, on the second attempt, I crashed at turn 10. On the second try, I put on another tire because I wanted to do a super pole race simulation with the qualifying tire, and I was improving my lap time, but I crashed at turn 10. He added, because we didn't have so much time, we wanted to try a race simulation, but we were unable. I think we're in good shape. The tire wear here is the main thing so you can be fast, but you need to be faster at the end of the race as your pace can drop 1 or 2 seconds. I'm satisfied. I'm happy because I'm trying to understand the tire. It's really good to go with a lot of speed inside the corner and Bulega is really good at it. I need to try to smoother on the throttle and carry more speed in the corner. I did the lap time with the new front tire, and I like it. I was a little bit overriding the bike and I was really trusting the front tire too much, because it was so good.